Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make this video. It might, I don't know, this might be an odd video. You know, I've, I really, you know, kind of shilled baked beans for a long time and uh, they, I don't know, I've been in their group and stuff for a long time and just, I don't know. I just don't know what to say about these guys. I don't know what in the world happened. I don't know why yesterday was so weird with them. I don't know what they're trying to hide or or what's going on. But I, you know, I've I've shielded these guys for a long time. I've, uh, you know, participated participated in AMAs with them and, you know, kind of stuck my neck out there for these guys because I don't shield many things. Um, and I feel like they just kind of crapped on me. I mean, honestly, you know, if we want to talk about turd burglar, um, I I think they might take the cake there. Uh, the I don't know. It, it, it feels a lot like what happened with um, Multimatic and when that whole thing went down with somebody just, you know, straight up, you know, you, you feel like you kind of have a relationship with guys and, you know, you're you're kind of on this this road together and then when time, times get tough and things, you know, aren't looking the best, they just kind of, you know, turn on you and turn on into these different people that you you didn't know existed and that's the way I feel like um, that's the way I feel with with these guys I'm um, like I don't know yesterday you know I I got wind that this came up and uh, you know toasted Avax is out and it's it's from these guys and you know I, I heard that and like okay you know I'll take that with a grain of salt because there's only so many of these things out there and then I got another message from somebody else that I know that, you know, also confirmed this. And then I, you know, got other messages and it just kept compounding. So then I started looking into it more, you know, and then I visited their Twitter um, link here. And, you know, it's straight from the bakehouse. These guys did an exact copy, created, a, you know, got their logo, stick it on there. So it's like, okay, things are starting to look like this is them. So, you know, I click on the Telegram group, go into the group and, you know, well, in the, in the baked beans say, hey, is this you guys? And they started removing my comments, you know, and I just want to know, hey, is this you guys or not? Like, you know, just tell me, just straight up tell me, is it you or not? You know, you know, I don't, you could like give me some guidance or are you, are you trying to, you know, do a certain kind of launch with this? Or are you trying to, you know, tell me what's going on? You know, if you've got all these influencers out there, you should give them some kind of information instead of just be like, you know, delete everything. So then the owner, he sent me a message and said, you know, bro, chill. You know, I asked a couple of questions like, hey, is this, you know, and I'm like, hey, why are you deleting my comments? I just want to know if this is you guys or not. So he private messaged me and asked me, you know, says, bro, chill. There's a reason I'm deleting your comments. And I said, but is it from BNB or not? He says, no, we will announce when we're live. So the dude straight up lied to me. Um, and I don't know, like that doesn't sit well with me. You don't just straight up lie. Like I, I am just, you know, there, there's a lot of people in this space and there's already a huge problem with trust in DeFi because you know, there's so many rugs, there's so many shady things going on. And if you lie to me, uh, and I know you do, I'm going to put it on the channel. So just for anybody's information in the future, um, if there's any other dev out there, you know, if I ask you a question, don't straight up lie because if I find out, I'm gonna put it on my channel. Like I'm not, this channel is about being open, honest, finding out what the truth is about things and you know, finding out investments, are they good or not? You know, who, what's behind them? Is the community good? Are the owners, you know, trying to do things that are good? And if you lie, I'm gonna show it. Like that's that's what I do on my channel. Like I, I'm not hiding anything. So if you lie to me, don't just just don't just don't do it, guys. Like I'm fine if I say, hey, is this from BNB? You know, is this from Baked Beans? You could have said yes, but we're trying to keep it on the down low, you know, please don't, you know, share it or whatever, you know, I might, I'll, I'll respect what you say, you're being honest, I'll respect what you're asking me to do, um, I might not agree with it, but I'm not going to just go blast it all over the place, 
Um, you know, I'm not going to go against what you ask me to do, honestly. Um, I've seen other YouTubers that do. You know, they're asked to release things at a certain time and they do it early to try to get, a, you know, leg up on other people. I don't do that kind of stuff. So if you're going to tell me, you know, if you're going to lie straight to my face, I'm going to expose it. If you're like, hey, you know, if you're just up front and be like, hey, you know, we're just trying to keep it on the down low for a while or something, just say that. Like, don't just straight up lie to me. Anyway, that's, that's you know, in the past, obviously. Um, since then, you know, he told me I have no morals and then he banned me from the group and then he called me an idiot in the group and then I have no life and whatever. I don't really care, honestly. Um, I, I have a wonderful life, honestly, so... And I don't care. I mean, even if I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, I'm going to be open and honest about what I do know. So whatever. Um, so let's get to the update here and then we'll get back to toasted AVAX. And there's still way more in here that I want to cover. Um, yeah. So yeah, guys, you won't see me in baked beans group anymore because they banned me because, you know, I, he lied to me and I said, not cool. Uh, anyway, Let's go, let's talk about baked beans. Baked beans, you know, obviously we've talked about this before, it's balance is going down, um, it's withdraws are far outpacing, it's, it's uh, deposits and that's what happens when balances go down. It's, you know, you have to realize these are still, you know, Ponzi-nomics. You have to have more income than, um, you know, the money going out. So that's just the way it works. The problem is they have a huge problem with, you know, they've got a lot going out right now, like, you know, 800 to 1,000 BNB a day. Now, you know, with that, you know, the contract, we can pull that up here, you know, it's over 10 million still. Uh, in the last three or four days, it's lost like $4 million. So that gives you, you know, a, an idea of how much has gone out since it peaked. Um, we can look at the analytics and see how long that's been total. It hit its peak on the 21st. So, okay, yeah, seven days, it's lost $4 million. So, I mean, you know, just doing the quick math in my head, you know, if it went down at the same rate, which I don't think it will, um, you know, if it did, you know, this thing has a few weeks left. But... It's probably not going to do that. It's probably going to follow more closely to the BNB miner. And with that, it'll probably, I'm going to guess, if I were to guess, it's going to come down to about 4 million, you know, start sloping down about 6 million and kind of leveling out around four, you know, between, you know, two to 4 million. It's probably going to hover there for a long time unless some miracle happens. Uh, the problem is the returns on these are based on something called market beans and those never come down um, They only go up and with that um, It's a ratio between the contract balance and those market beans So even if that balance keeps going up unless it can get up, you know above where it was before and go even higher You're not going to see the returns you saw before. It's not going to happen you know, I, I don't care what they tell you, but it's not going to happen. So when it gets down here, it's going to hover down here and you're going to be making, you know, a percent or two a day, which is, you know, still a really good investment if they can continue and, and stretch out. So as long as it has new investment coming in, that is the key. It still has to have investment coming in, you know, even a little bit. So. Uh, so that's what's going on with baked beans. That's where we're at. I, I envision it'll continue to come down and, you know, slope out. Now, that being said, they decided to release this other miner. And I've mentioned it in the video even before the one yesterday that I thought of another miner was a bad idea. It takes, um, it takes the attention away from baked beans. And they really need to focus on it. They need to focus on, you know, purely just the marketing. And then if they're going to do NFTs, if they're going to do all those other things that directly support the miner, that's what they need to focus on. You know, I've had people in uh, on my channel and there's one person in particular that just keeps defending these guys over and over and over. 
Um, I am not a tribal investor. I've talked about this. Um, I'm not going to be like, hey, I'm all in. You know, these guys are perfect and they can do no wrong. You know, I've mentioned that baked beans has faults and I've pointed those out and I know about them. And, you know, I know that that referral was too high. And, you know, you can't just keep giving out money and expect it to keep lasting forever. So, you know, when they came up with Toasted AVAX, and I, and I heard before, I actually heard a week or two before that they were going to launch an AVAX miner. Um, and that was just a rumor. I didn't know if it was true. Um, but I knew that they were going to, th that's what I, I heard. So that's kind of what I expected, honestly. But I didn't want it to be true, honestly, because it's it's not going to help, honestly. Okay, let's let's see why. Let, let me just show you why it's not going to help. Right now, we've gotten up to a balance of thirteen thousand seven hundred. It's slowed way down since yesterday. It's going to peak, you know, in the next day or two, probably. Um, and when it does, it'll probably start going down because the, like these new ones that come out like this. Um, that have all this hype around them, they just pump way up and they don't have enough uh, momentum to keep going up. I mean, there, there's a limit here. This is th this is the same thing happens over and over. Uh, we saw it with like, for instance, Stable One. They did one, you know, version one, it went up, everybody was happy, it had problems, it crashed down. Um, and it, in there, they're like, oh, we're, we're gonna launch version two. And it went up, but it didn't go up as high and it came down, you know, really quickly and it didn't last as long as the first one so uh, I have a lot of people saying oh they're geniuses they're, this thing's going to sustain them it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be the best thing for baked beans ever uh, you're drinking the kool-aid guys like I don't know how else to tell you that but it's it's not gonna happen and I'll show you the exact math behind it um, sorry getting so many messages here Okay, let's look at the contract. It's got 13,000 AVAX, and that's you know almost two days worth now of uh, you know launch. You know this thing you know shot way up. That's probably gonna be the the most it's gotten in 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 a couple days. Let's read the contract. And I looked at this earlier. Um, this is the owner's wallet. He's not transferred anything out of this yet, and it's got. Five, or 458 AVAX in there, or $30,000, 31000 okay? Now, remember, Baked Beans has been losing 800 to 1,000 BNB a day. Now, these guys, they only get this money when you buy in or you sell. They don't get it on compounds or anything like that. So this is, you know, the most they can get out of this is, you know, this much coming back out at this point. You know, so if everybody sells and the balance drops to zero, this much again will go to them. But let's just remember, you know, it, it's losing quite a bit over there. So let's pull up our handy dandy calculator here and figure out, you know, how much is 30,100. Let's say it's 30,100. And let's divide that by the price of B&B right now. It's, it's been hovering around 400 today. You just covered 75 BNB. Two days worth of investment in this is 75 BNB. Baked beans is losing 800 to 1,000 every day. So the math there says this is like a tiny Band-Aid fix. You know, if this, this thing isn't gonna keep making 75 every two days, you know, it might, you know, if, if it's lucky, it'll probably, it might make, you know, in fees, that is, that's assuming that they take the 3% fee that they make and they dump all of it into baked beans and don't take anything out of this. So let's say on a good day, it gets five BNB and this thing's losing, you know, even if it comes down to, you know, 500, um, you know, you're not, you're covering a percent of what's being taken out of baked beans. So this thing is a, this thing is a Band-Aid fix on what's happening with baked beans. Um, the focus should have been, you know, the marketing and, um, you know, NFTs, like something where continually, you know, build a, a DeFi as a service or something where there's investment and some of that investment keeps coming back in all the time. 
um, because this is not going to be sustainable all the time. We've seen it with other miners that have just launched. You know, there's so many clones out there that we can see exactly what's going to happen. So let me also address another thing. We talked about the whales yesterday, um, and that is still very highly concerning to me. And I'm not saying all this stuff because, you know, to FUD this thing or I'm mad at these guys. I don't really honestly care what they say about me. Um, I hate that they lied to me, but I'm always about the facts. And I also am about the code and what it can do and what can be done. Um, so if, if I think about what happened yesterday and everything points to um, they let the whales know first. And I've got a lot of people saying, no, it's, it's not, that's not true. That's not what happened. Well, the problem is I've got all this, all the, everything that I see is pointing to that being true. And let me tell you why. I did a little bit of, I mean, it what didn't take much, honestly. I looked at the transactions, I downloaded the transaction log, I just got all the ones where they bought in, all the deposits. And all the deposits are, um, from when it started, the first uh, 100 transactions were an average of 10.72 BNB. And then at the time I took that same snapshot, I looked at the average of the most current ones and it was like 2.9 BNB. Or not, sorry, not BNB on these, it's all AVAX. So the, the first 100, it was 10.2 was the average, 10.72 AVAX per deposit, that was the average. And then the most recent was 2.98. So those first deposits were more than three times larger than the current ones. That tells me, you know, thinking in my brain, the largest deposits were made first and then later the smaller investors got in. So that com compounded with about two or three other people that told me about this. One that I know um, is actually in the whale chat and another screenshot that I saw from the whale chat tells me, yes, they let the whales in first. So they've got this secret chat going on. And the problem with that is, you know, nobody knows what's being said in there. Uh, nobody knows what can be done in there. You know, they could, they could scheme something in there and, and do something. And let me show you how they could do something. The problem is this thing launched and a bunch of people aped in, you know, it's got almost a million dollars worth and it's not even audited. Um, if you go to the toasted AVAC site, you know, this little thing to the ethos project where they actually audit things. It's just a link to their site. So if we look at the contract here, they have these things called ownable um, methods. And these are things that can happen after the contract's been deployed. And it's things that the owner can change after the fact. So when the contract is running, you know, they can change certain things if the contract has that method in it. And let me show you the one that, that I think is like way concerning. This one, update daily reward. And the only check it has on it is the daily reward has to be greater than zero, which obviously it, it, you can't put a negative in there. So they can't be negative. Now I'm not saying they're going to do this. I'm not saying that this is their intent, but this is something that, like it, you, when we think about all these projects and things that are going on, this is something that could happen. Um, this is something that could be used in a malicious way to you know make people rich and take from other people. I mean, uh, yeah, and, and this is all speculative. You know, of course, you know I can't prove any of this that this is what they're trying to do. You know, it might be in here because they just want to lower the rate or something or change the reward at some point to help it or whatever. Um, but what they could do, honestly, they could do is the owner could update this thing to be like, you know, 50,000% all of a sudden. And they could be in the whales chat saying, hey, guys, you know, you, you deposited. Um, we got a huge balance in here. Let's ramp this thing up to like 10,000%, you know, wait 10 minutes and just dump it. 
um, that's something that they could do with this. It's it's not you know out of the realm of possibility. If they were going to do something shady, they could do that with this code. So just be very well aware of what's in the in the code and what's going on. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not saying that they're going to do that. You know, it's it's that's their intent. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying watch out for code like this. This is stuff that can, you know, this can be a rug pull. It could be with that with that code. Um, you know, I hear the word rug pull a lot, uh, and and a lot of them are from um, honestly uh, just the contract hitting zero. Uh, whales got in early. That's not really a rug. That was just poor planning. They didn't, you know, a, a whale came in and, and sabotaged the thing. It's not, it's nothing like the owner did. They didn't just, you know, yank out all the all the stuff and leave. Um, there have been some, but most of them are just, you know, the balance went to zero. You know, those are the good old ROI days. So just be careful of stuff like this. Stuff like this can be very dangerous. Um, they changed it to... Um, also these ones, the dev fee and the referral fee, they changed. They, they can make changes too, but they put bounds on it so they can't be higher uh, than a certain amount. But that daily reward one, that one, I don't know, I saw that and that just huge red flag. So, um, yeah guys, I'm not going to beat a dead horse with this thing. I mean, it... it the whole thing was just a mess when they launched, you know, tried to launch this. I don't know if they were just trying to make, get a bunch of crazy publicity over it, but I, I don't think it worked as well as they thought it would. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, this is my, like I said, this is my final update on baked beans. I'm not that bullish on it anymore. You know, the, I don't know, the owner, he just really showed his his true self there. Um, I just don't like the name calling. Um, I don't know, yeah. You know, I don't, I try not to get to that level where I'm calling people names and like, um, you know, calling people idiots or anything like that. I'm not gonna do that. You know, I just don't like when they lie and I don't like when they do shady things and this whole thing was shady and I, I just don't like it. Anyway guys, because of that, I, I removed my referral link off of this. Um, I am no longer bullish on baked beans. Like I, I just don't, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, sorry, that was just a long spew. I don't know what else to tell you, but that's, that's kind of what I've got. Um, go ahead and leave any comments below. You know, let the flame war start, whatever. Um, go ahead and like the video if you like it, subscribe if you want to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.